So next up, climate change activist. <laughs> John, climate change activists you can do it. super glue themselves to the United States Capitol. Uh, so I'm not really sure why they did this other than to get attention to and media attention. Point. But what's funny about this is they start talking uh, about, you know, their issues, their climate change issues. And it almost sounds like, and I've said this for years, climate change is a religion for these people. Instead of, you know, Catholicism or Protestantism or Judaism or whatever the religion, they have a, they've adopted climate change as their religion. So here's a clip of them in the United States Capitol. I want to keep on having once in a century storms every year, every year, once in a century floods, once in a century wildfires, once in a century Fires. Yeah, to think about DC that was one. Underwater last week. DC was underwater last week. <laughs> and it was on fire this weekend. Wait, and, and it was on fire last weekend. So, you know, they're like echoing each other. The news. <laughs> so, so it's almost like a prayer, you know, where the, the, the minister the is, chants, yeah. is it, he's chanting or he's, he's, he's praying in front and the everybody homily. and people and people talk, talk you know, and, and that's exactly what that was like. And it, it go ahead, Gus, you told me. Talk to me you're right. It. it is kind of creepy that it does. It, it, some people get to that level where they think there's no other way. I mean, they're so set on the fact, I mean, this Green New Deal, these are the people that supporting that i mean they're, they're in their minds that if we don't do something now you know they're that they think that the world's going to end and and we know that the whole the green new deal is a sham i mean that the the uh, aoc's staff has talked about it. it's about changing uh, completely changing the u.s economy it has nothing to do with necessarily climate but fuji we only have 12 years to live yeah at least okay. they didn't that's use, what they're saying hey they didn't use kids this time Imagine super gluing kids to block staffers. Right, like Diane Feinstein when they took the kids in there. Oh, remember that? Diane like, Feinstein read them the riot act. Say, I know what I'm doing. I'm climate a change rugrats. You know, they were yeah. like, you must do something. You must pass the and green the new deal. And the teachers are like guiding the conversation. Exactly. They're here for this. Like, okay, come on. I kind of thought you told me when you saw the video, a police officer bumped his back up on the guy's arm that was yeah. like glued to the walls. He was like, ow! It's like, yeah, he screamed. Come like, on, dude! It's like you glued, you super glued yourself to a wall, like, and you didn't expect pain. Like, how did you think you were gonna? get off the wall they may all have a, they, they all have a few screws loose i think to waste their time doing this there's better ways to make yeah. their message heard brando has got what plants crave it's got electrolytes <laughs> <laughs> and if people know where that movie's from is uh help me out here what is it again oh shit i actually forgot <laughs> <laughs> thanks squirrel it's idiocracy, uh, idiocracy yeah, yeah. Yes. and Thank there's you, my squirrel. idiot moment right there <laughs> you gotta do a squirrel one for that i'm just saying <laughs> <laughs> Hey everybody, this is Mark Fisher with Mark and the Millennials. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel.